Well, hello everybody. Today I'm going to be kind of going over sort of my kit that I'm using for my planning and journaling right now. This is different than anything I usually have done in the past. I've always kept my planner on my desk. It's so all my shit's been on my desk, but since I've started the journaling situation and I've moved to a smaller planner, this ACE, uh, a five common planner, um, I actually have been carrying some stuff around with me. Now, I didn't want to do a whole big tote that's not necessary, but instead I just have this little setup here. So I want to just go over those things with you, partly because I think it could be fun. I love watching videos like this myself, and partly because if you can't hear, I am still very sick. I'm actually filming this the day it's going up because I've just been so behind, so behind on everything because of how sick I am. So, yeah. If I'm sounding super snarfly in this video, that's why. Bare this is the first day I've been able to even sit up for very long. This is my A5 Common Planner from Sterling Inc. I decorated the cover with doodles. It is not in its Salty Katie Co. cover because I have been putting it. I decided I wanted a change and I stuck it in this Moterm situation. This I think it's Pink Croc. I don't know. I'll link whatever I can down below. Uh, point being is that I put it in here. But I took it out just for the purpose of this video. I just, I felt like a change. The other couple of items that are not in this bag. So this is blotting paper. This was actually part of my birthday gift when I got the vanishing point, which we'll talk about in a second. And it's really handy both when I need something to be dry fast so I can just either put this in and then turn the page or just use this to blot. But also it's really great for like priming or starting your fountain pen. So... I think it came in a pack of 10. This is the first one and I'm still just using it because I have no reason not to. And then this is a pencil board. So it was actually, was this a pencil board? I think I got this from Jet Pens. I can't remember. I cut it. It was bigger than this because I bought it originally years ago for the uh, Baron Fig, the larger, I think it was a B5 notebook that I was using can't remember if you've been around with me for remember what the larger notebook was but I trimmed it down for the a5 size and so I use this when I remember to because I press down so hard even though I'm getting better at it because I'm using the fountain pen I still press down pretty hard and this just protects especially because of all the pictures and stuff that I'm putting in here this is the main pen I'm using currently it's pretty much the only pen I'm using unless I take it if I take this with me to the grocery store because as you can see I have been using this to like make like meal plans and lists like that if I take it to the grocery store I do not take this pen with me because I have a knack for losing pens in the grocery store and this is an expensive motherfucker. So I usually will just grab whatever ultra fine gel pen I have sitting around. I've got a Sarasa clip in my in my bin on my desk. This is a Sarasa mark on. I've got Pilot G2s. I've got fucking pens for days. I just grab whatever ultra fine one I've got mostly because I found that the ultra fine one doesn't tend to smear as quickly as the Boulder pens. This one is my main pen that I have pretty much been using non-stop since I got it for my birthday. It is the Pilot Vanishing Point in the matte black. I believe this is the fine nib and I fucking love it. Um, the reason I got this, and I did talk about this in an earlier video, I think it was my no buy video. I knew I wanted to get a fountain pen because I had been using my Pilot Metropolitan and really liking it, but I was really fucking annoyed with the cap. I would keep flinging it. I swear, there's even a video I think where you hear me fling it. I was stabbing myself with my pen. I was leaving my pen uncapped and having to clean it because I was drying it. Fountain pens are fussy enough. The cap was just pissing me off. I had heard really good things about this retractable situation, but it's 170 bucks when it's like on the non, like when they sell it for the more sale price as opposed to the list price, which is over $200. And I was like, okay, aside from the fact that I'm on a no buy, that's fucking expensive. Then I was asked what I wanted for my birthday and I was given a budget of $200 and I was like, oh, okay. So this was part of that birthday gift along with the blotting paper and I will show you what else I got. There's one other thing. It's in this bag. Now, normally we'll either live in this bag or just in the planner, just sort of like this. Um, I was using like the, the, the clasp to hold it as like a pen holder but um, it would keep falling off and it would fall on the ground. I don't want to break it. So this might seem silly, but it's it works for me. So there we go. Pilot, pilot vanishing points. So let's actually look what's in this bag here. This bag of wonders. Now this bag, um, I just 
pulled it out of my my bag of bags, my my tote of totes, etc. I've got bags and totes for days. So I just grabbed this one. I might change it for a different one for my bag of bags because I don't know. A, I think we might discover when I'm going through here, there's some things I don't need. <laughs> and B, it's a little ponderous when I'm doing dialysis. So part of the reason that I wanted to have a bag and my planner as opposed to a whole tote is because I have a tiny little side table next to my chair when I do home dialysis five days a week. And it holds my iPad, it holds my phone charger, it holds my water bottle, my Kleenex, my box of Kleenex, which is extremely important these days. If I want anything else, my laptop, my planner, whatever, I have to stack it on top of all of that. And it's often been my planner so I can fuck with it while I'm sitting there on dialysis. But this bag makes it a little unwieldy. I keep knocking it over. So I may need to go for something more svelte, if you will. So I may decide that when I go through here. But in the meantime, let's just take a look at what I actually have in this bag. And then we can even determine what I want to keep with me and what I don't. So first and foremost, this is the other piece of my birthday gift. This is a pack of cartridges from Pilot. It's the Iro Shizuku Takesumi Black Ink. Pilot fountain pens, from what I understand, have proprietary car cartridges. So you can use a converter and fill it with whatever ink you want. I am not brave enough for that yet. However, um... I do use the cartridges and while I have some basic uh, pilot black ink, I wanted to get some slightly nicer ink and I really like this. I was actually really glad that I had the cartridges because I just used one up and I was actually on dialysis when it happened. And if I can figure out where I put it so I can add it to my empties, I guess we'll find it when we go through here. But the point being is that keeping it in the bag is actually kind of helpful. Now, if I decide I'm going to start using the converter, I'm not going to carry the ink around with me because that's a recipe for disaster. So if I do have to switch to a different pouch, this is definitely staying. On this side, what else do we have? We got some pens and such. And this is also an area I think I can calm it down a bit because I think, I think now after using it this way for about a month, I kind of know what I need and what I don't need. All right. So these are all of the, on the pen side, all the pens I have besides this one, which I have already said, is pretty much the only one I use in my planner on a day-to-day -day basis. So what do we have here? A Villa Beautiful pen, which I don't think I need anymore in there because I'm not using it in there. It's one I might take with me to the grocery store, but I can just grab it if I want to go to the grocery store. Here's a mild liner. I've been using mild liners. I use them in my journaling sometimes, but I haven't really been using it. Like here's the last, I don't know handful of days and I haven't used it since the last day I used it in my my dailies is January 26th and it is February 21st so I'm gonna put my mild liner away as well what else do we got so this is a Posca pen this is the bullet tip 0.7 millimeter and this is a white paint pen and I have used this and I'm going to continue to use this uh I don't know when the last time I used it was looking for an example but i use it to write on pictures for the most part so this one definitely is going to stay we've got a pilot g2.38 again don't need that right now here is my pilot metropolitan which was the fountain pen i was using before i got the vanishing point i'm gonna put that one in my jug too because i don't really need that because I'm, this is the one i'm using i will keep my palomino blackwing which is my a pencil i love to sketch with although i'm going to give it a little sharpen these make great sketching pencils. So I'm keeping that one around. This is a Slick Writer Black. I'm going to keep this one for, I haven't used it yet because most of my pictures I've used the white, not the black, but to have this to write on pictures is helpful. Here is my Tombow dual tipped Food and Asuki pen. Uh, it's the soft black and then the uh, gray. I actually don't like this one as much as the hard tip. I'm going to go see if I can swap this for a black small like brush pen that I will use more often. I haven't been using this because I don't like the soft tip as much as the hard. <laughs> Here is the Kelly Create. You can see I've used it so much I've actually worn off the, um, the writing. Yeah, this one is, whoops. This one is, see where you put the blotting paper in there. This one is much better. So I'm going to hang on to this. I haven't really been using it, but like I said, it's partly because I just don't like it as much. So um, we'll hang on to that one for now. I have a uni pin, which I 
probably like to keep around because it's a great sketching pen. But I want to try sketching with my fountain pen more. So I'm going to put that one away. And then these two I will keep. This is the UniPen oil-based pen for writing on stickers and on pictures if I want a finer tip than the Slick Writer. And a Uniball Signo, which is a great white gel pen. Not for writing on pictures, but for other uses like highlights and things like that. So these will be the pens that I keep with my planner and my ink. On the other side is my miscellaneous bullshit side. So I'm going to pull all of this out and then we can go through it and decide what I'm going to keep in here and what I'm not. Okay, so here is my miscellaneous stuff. So let's just start with the items that I think I'm probably going to keep most of this in there, to be honest with you. So we have... A tape runner. This is the Elmer's tape runner. I like it because it's clear. And so if I use it on the thinner Tomoe River paper, you don't see it. Now I haven't used it very much yet, but um, when I do want to put something in or my washi tape has not stuck, which actually is the most ideal, this guy. Now, so this guy definitely is staying here. My Tombow mono correction tape which is like the best correction tape ever um keeping that because you know these are basics and then we have um some cutting tools i have these small scissors which i have actually used way more than i thought i would they are great for cutting out pictures i just used them the other day when i took these adorable pictures of oh man and i decided to print them out and then cut them and i just love that so Definitely keeping these in. This is my slice tool, and I used this once or twice on Chrissy and Design stickers, but I don't use it often enough where I think I need to keep this with me. I think I can use the scissors in a pinch, and I can just come down here and get it. So I'm going to put that over there. And then this is my Steve. Uh, it's like a bookmark from Chrissy and Designs, so but what I've been using it for is to cut washi tape or as a straight edge. So definitely keeping this guy. Now we have washi tape. And these are ones I have been using, but I don't think I need to keep all of them in here. I think I'm going to put this pink one back and probably these two skinny pink ones and just keep these two for right now because I think they're really pretty and I have been using them off and on, but I don't need all of this washi tape in here at once. And that usually I'll put whatever I'm using for the week or whatever I'm using for the month or whatever I'm trying to use up, but it's just nice to have a couple when I'm working elsewhere in the house. Then we have some little transparent sticky notes, which also is excellent for these uni pin pens. These write very well on the transparent sticky notes. And it's just good. I haven't really used them, but you never know when I'll need them. And then finally, my Canon IV printer with some extra printer paper. I think I'm going to put one of these away because it does add some extra bulk. But this is what I've been using to print pictures for my my uh, planner. Um they are a little, they're on sticker paper, which is nice, but they are thick. So I may wind up switching to printing pictures on like vellum or on regular printer paper to helpfully slim it down just a skosh because it's not even the thickness of the planner I'm concerned about. It's the thickness of the paper when I write and the bumps, even though the there's a pencil board that doesn't always help, especially if the bumps are on the page previous. And since this month, my goal is to have pictures of my planner at least three times a week. That's a lot of bumps. Okay, let's see what we have left. And then I'm going to consider going and digging out another pouch. Look at that beautiful flat lay of the items I take with me every day now that they've been slimmed down to what I'm actually using. I think this pouch might be a little big and awkward for that. So I'm going to go see what I can find and I'll be right back. All right. After some digging and jabbing my finger with a thumbtack, I found two pouches that could work. One that I think has the shape and is adorable and has this strap and I love it. But this is from Cultivate What Matters. I have gotten rid of most of my stuff from them because since they were bought out by a company who I, I just don't, I don't, I don't use them anymore. A video, go search it if you want to watch it. But I do still have some of their washi. That's really cute. And I have this. So it'd be kind of silly to not use it. I don't really support them anymore, but I have it. Or I have this smaller one that 
is green, which is my favorite color and was given to me by my friend Jody. And there's nothing my friend, she's my friend. I love her. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if this will fit because the thing I'm worried about is the printer. If this fits in here, my cat is trying to get in the closet. If this fits in here, everything fits in here, I'll use this. If it doesn't, I might go for the other one for right now until I find something better. I have other pouches. I just don't know where they are. My house is a fucking disaster area right now. All right. So let's see if we can get this all in here. What I really need to do is replace this honker with something more slender. We're going to give a shot with my Uhuhu Magic Blue Stick. I love using my big boy when I do like a mixed media art and it goes on blue but dries clear. We're going to go for that for right now because it's more slender. I have my Prima planner glue pens, which are also great, but they're kind of dry. So I'm not really sure. I guess we'll put this boy in first because this bad boy is the one that I would be using like of all of the things in here besides the fountain pen, the printer is actually the thing I use the most. Okay, so we let's see in this pocket we've got Steve, we've got the extra paper which I do need because I don't want to have to come running. I run out of it on a fairly regular basis. Um, and we could put the maybe what I'll do is I'll just stick an extra cartridge. Hopefully this won't make a giant mess. We'll stick some, an extra cartridge in here, and we'll put the rest of the cartridges away for right now because I don't need the whole box, and the post its can go in here. Now in the little pen loops, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. That includes my Palomino black wing. You know, I haven't really used this slick writer because most of my, like I said, most of my pictures are dark and I have the oil-based pen. So what I'm going to do, and I definitely use the oil-based pen. I definitely use the Posca pen. I definitely want to use the brush pen, my Uniball Signo and my Palomino black wing, because this guy I'll just throw in or I'll throw in my planner. But these are like the bonus pens. And then we have mono tape. We have a glue stick. It's the washi tape that doesn't fit. I'll keep a one roll in case I need it. Like in case I want to have like a bit of washi. But if I want to get more into the washi, I will go and if like I want to do a different washi, I will go and find those. Let's see if I can close this. Okay. That is snug as a bug, but it'll do for right now. I think this will work so that I'm not using this pouch at the moment. I will keep that both of these out somewhere where I can see them, but this is a little bit more manageable and easy to deal with than my, although, you know, if I could keep it flatter, that would be easier than a chonky boy, even if this is a smaller chonky boy. Let's see how flat I can get this in this pouch. Okay, see, but this is going to be less problematic on my fucking table. It's the, the height and the chonk that's the real problem, not the width. I really don't want to use this pouch at the moment, but this is the one I've got and I'm not buying more shit right now. So I'm going to use this for right now and we'll see if I can find something that's adequate that's similar to this, but not this. So this is what I'm going to go with for right now. This is what I carry with me. Now you can see my random thoughts plus this guy, of course, this guy would just go in there or I could go in here. It wouldn't fit in here. This was to the brim, but it fits in here. It would fit in here fine. All right, this is what I've got. Uh, let me know in the comments, what do you carry with you for planner stuff, whether it's out of the house or around the house? Do you carry anything or do you leave your planner on your desk? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, friends, peace.